When the Empire surrendered to the old Mary Dominion, got some good. Take a look. Don't forget to check inside the shop. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white. Well, the Your finest weapons and armor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Good doing business with you. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. What are you gawking at? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Now I've got to clean up this mess.
won't end well for you. Was something we discussed... Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you! You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move! 
Farewell, Sabjorn. I don't think that could have gone any better. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Remember to put in a good word with me. Can't believe that worked.
Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. You might run into some of them lizard folk in Riften. Quite a few of them work the docks there, not sure why. No doubt about it. Thieves Guild is back. And they've got Riften in their grip. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. If you've got the... Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Let's save that appetite, hmm? I'll show you to you right this way. I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's, else. there's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. I believe we're done. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. Come to see Bal- Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. Maurice, I've come to warn you that the thieves skill has been Oh, it's you. Come to extort more from me? Now I remember. You're the new member of the Companions. So you what? Good to see hey, you again, let's friend. Let's talk a second.
Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because, even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullamai. Slimy bastard. Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. I can't believe Gullamai is mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, He's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Good luck in solitude. Keep Gullamai alive, but remind him who we are. Yeah, you need some. Protect yourself right. Buy armor. If you're looking to settle in Richten, there's a house for sale. Honeyside. Cast your fancy magic something.
We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. I knew this day would eventually come. At least poor Cinderian died doing what he loved. His field research. I told the old fool he should take it easy, but he was too stubborn. Perhaps someday I'll continue where he left off. It's the least I can do considering how much he did for me. You've gathered quite a few of them, I see. I'll search through Cinderian's notes and find some more information about the Crimson Nernroot and its properties. Thank you. You've done Alchemy a great service by helping to complete Cinderian's work. I'd like to give you this tome. It's one of Cinderian's greatest works. I believe you've more than earned it. Is it that obvious? I've got my hands full here. Between the farm chores, cultivating my supply of Nernroot, and keeping a tight rein on my sister Adori, there's little time for rest. I don't need luck. I need rest. I used to be. There isn't much time for that in my life anymore, I'm afraid. I actually owned a shop in Vivek City long ago, but I had to leave all that behind when the Red Mountain erupted. <sighs> Perhaps someday I'll reopen a shop here in Skyrim. Back to work. something
If I were you... Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. You ever settle down to have children? Think twice before you do it. Any idea how I can get my daughter's head out of the clouds? Whoa, whoa. Watch the magic. 